<laughs> Welcome to our new home. So this is Wilfred. <laughs> to this episode, still the same day as where we last left off. We literally bought that Wilfred today, but we are gonna go strip out his partially. insides. Partially. <laughs> Just the floor. Very late in the evening, so we need to do- Nearly nine o'clock. No, I can't carry that. Sorry, I'm just going to be sniggling behind the camera. <laughs> I'm, I'm really overexcited by doing this. So, he should be 4 metres by 1.72. Exactly 4 metres. Oh, that makes me so happy. So this is beautiful Wilfred's floor before we clean him. He already has a headliner in, which we need to clean, but we're lucky because it came with that. Here's Sabrina, she's our camera lady. No rust. No. Which is so rare. Yeah. There's lots of random holes, but that's fine. We fill them in. We bought an abundance of tools, so this is going to be a time lapse of us opening them, basically. <laughs> this needs to be returned. Safety glasses. Nice. What are you saying? Wow, you're so sustainable. Oh my god, it's beautiful. This is just dangerous. See you tomorrow. Cheers. Wolf spent his first night with us last night. It rained all night, which is great because we actually really wanted to do a rain test with him anyway. So the first thing we did when we woke up this morning is we hopped out of bed. We didn't really because we were exhausted. Um, <laughs> we got up quite slowly and we went and water tested him, aka just went, in, went and saw if there were any leaks or any water or anywhere inside the van which would be no bueno because we would have to fill in some holes if that was the case. But Wolf being Wolf, he's your guy. He had no leaks, so that is really reassuring. Really good to know. Um, so we wouldn't want a soggy, wouldn't want a soggy home. Who wants a soggy home? Cheers to that. I'm gonna down this tea, and we need to start getting the plywood off the walls, which is going to be a bitch. So, job one, ply lining. This could either take 30 minutes or it could take all day. It's kind of studded in as opposed to screwed in. I'm gonna start with the knife and work my way up to crowbar. I'm gonna try and not damage the ply as much as possible. This is what I'm talking about. Three, two, one, go. What's up? Can I get some more I can already tell these screws are going to be the bane of my life today. But the first time I've actually managed to get a whole one out. What's up guys, I'm going to try and quickly take out the bulkhead with some Allen key torque screws. T27, oh easy. Paid off going to the gym. Good. At this point I'm very happy to have Isaac, the muscle man, because uh, I cannot physically do any of these torque screws. I love it. We have these lights which are still connected. Oh, it's coming disconnected. So I've just taken this uh, case for the bulb out. There was actually a bulb and unplugged the wiring with it, with it. And I think that should be okay. But let's try and do this one. It's already pretty much out. Yeah, literally. Okay, there's the bulb. Did it? These? Okay, perfect. With this stuff that's left, just it literally runs basically out here. So you can just pull it and pull it through. And then disconnect it from the big main wire, which I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think this also runs like the indicators 
and the back yeah. brake lights. So obviously I don't want to get rid of that. But you can literally, there's a little clip here, you push it down. And it pops out. And you just have that socket so you can plug in anything else. But, sweet, now I just have one left to go. Just to give you a little update, all the ply is out. Next job is getting these torque screws out. We'll see how we go. This could take a few hours. So I have been inside editing the video, my first van video, all day. And Sabrina and Isaac have been working really, really hard on the van. So let's go see what they're doing. Any progress? No. Struggling away with these torque screws. But the bulkhead has come out and the plywood is all out. that all the electrics still work after Lucy's electrical stuff earlier. Yeah. Looks all good. It is the end of day one and he is beautiful inside. We've given him a good scrub. He's going to need a few more scrubs until he's ready but he looks a lot, lot better. End of day one. We'll see you tomorrow. Last night we stayed off out here until about 10, I think, and we mapped out the entire place. So. It looks like an absolute state here. When you first come in, there's gonna be a little seat here. No back or anything, literally just like a box with a cushion on it. And then here, the blue tape with the air up, that's gonna be the shower and it's gonna have a toilet in it. <coughs> this green is gonna be our kitchen counter. <laughs> so our sink will be probably there. Uh, the red are cupboards, overhead cupboards. The pink here, there's gonna be a sofa. And then the yellow at the back, that big square, that's part of the bed, except it, the, back, the rest of the bed will be here as the back of the sofa and it will fold up, make up the rest of the length of the bed, basically. So it'll be a full length double bed and we'll be sleeping <laughs> this way. Red, again, being like storage space. All of this will be covered and we're gonna put a window in here behind the kitchen counter and also this will all be a window. Now we have to quickly take this all down, take the chairs out and we need to shoot over to Wix before it opens to get some blue panelling to the floors. So we'll see you there. about an hour but we have insulation which we don't need yet which we don't need yet but <laughs> this is for the walls and the roof we have some 25 mil flooring batters and then it provides these will be well. like the structural yeah. part of the floor and also what we drill everything into and um, then some little things yeah a lot of time that we spent whilst we were in wix was comparing prices to amazon some of the solvent remover we got some gorilla tape because that will always come in handy we also got some aluminium tape this was four pounds for 50 meters and we'll use that to basically stick down the floorboards to the structural panelling. And I also got a wire crimper. <laughs> I have four lectures to do today, so. I'm just gonna be doing a lot of cleaning today. Yeah, he still needs a good old clean. Sabrina and Isaac have just gone out and bought the floor. I'm so excited. She's so beautiful. Oh my God. Yeah, we found this big roll on clearance. So yeah, to reduced to clear. <laughs> so it's three meters by two meters for 36 pounds. It's just a whole roll of laminate. So you can basically just roll it out and cut shapes in it if you want to. I love how but we're buying this stuff and we still have We're just, we're no way near ready to use it, <laughs> but it was uh, on the high street. So yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. It's so pretty. I just want to roll it out. knew the Gorilla Tape would come in handy. And then the torque key strapped onto the end 
it just gives you more leverage to get them out. Hey guys, welcome to the vibe machine. So I'm going around finding any, any rust on the exterior of Wilf and I am sanding it a little bit and then I'm putting some rust uh, converter, rust converter from Camerate on top which makes it uh, go back to metal or something, I'm not really sure. And then painting over it with anti-rust white paint. That's what I'm doing today. Oh, two days, a brand new <laughs> type of tool which I'm copywriting, <laughs> and all of the tool screws are out. I genuinely didn't think we were getting them out. I was fully prepared to leave them in there. <laughs> what is it? Tuesday, 23rd. Yesterday we went to Wix and bought some battens for the floor and now we're cutting them and measuring them. We discovered that we didn't get enough, but it's fine. It's fine. It's we're going to need it for other stuff anyway. <laughs> yeah, we're going to need a lot of this kind of wood, so we'll have to go and get some more at some point. We bought a pack of eight for £20? 20 pounds. 21 Let's cut some wood. B-roll. <laughs> oh. B-roll. So Lucy is doing a magnificent job of painting the floor with Hammerite anti-rust paint. Um, we were just going to do the exposed metal but then it just kind of turned out to be easier just to paint everything and we ended up getting the big tin of it anyway so that we might as well use it. And it looks much nicer. If you look at that compared to where Lucy is down there. The floor is complete. That just needs to dry overnight. Shout out to my nanny who bought me this tap, which I'm incredibly excited about. She bought it for me for my birthday, which is like quite soon, luckily. Um, and I'm actually really excited about it. It's beautiful. Like, it's stunning. This morning I'm going to be filling in all of Wolf's little holes with some thicker blacks. But first, can we just appreciate how white Wolf is? Beautiful. <laughs> there you go. Whoa! Wow. Beautiful. And he is sealed. We have windows! <laughs> I'm so terrified but so excited at the same time. <laughs> We've got to somehow put these in now, but I'm pretty confident that we can do this. It seems pretty simple. You literally just cut a hole and stick them to the outside. So. What could go wrong? Three, two, one. Ta da! These are our two 220 amp hour AGM. Batteries. Hello everyone. As you just saw, we just had our windows and our batteries delivered. So we're gonna put in our windows straight away. We've never done this before, so this should be fun. Map out where we're gonna cut with our jigsaw. And then before we cut with our jigsaw, we're gonna draw some pilot holes in with this. We will cut the rectangle out with the jigsaw. You have to put a primer on and the adhesive, and then you literally just like push the window on. Oh yeah, I didn't say where I got these from. I got them from Vehicle Glass Limited, by the way. I wanted to get them from Van Pimps because that's where everyone kind of gets their windows from. But they didn't have the Ford Jumbo extra long wheelbase, which is what we have. They didn't have any of the specific windows for that. So I went with Vehicle Glass Limited because they had specifically for the Jumbo. W for window, this is where the window's going basically. We put uh, masking tape hanging off the ends with the sticky side up, so it's sticky here, so that any metal shavings, metal filings or whatever, they'll get stuck to this and they won't go down into the metal work or anywhere, because if they did that, they would just rust and 
I spent all day yesterday painting anti-rust paint over Wilf, so if he gets rust now, I will cry. It's time to drill some pilot holes, eh? Let's do it, eh? You ready, eh? Woo. Here is our first hole. As you can see, all the filings have got stuck to the masking tape, so it's doing its job, which is perfect. Look, it's literally everywhere already. It's all on the floor, so we can hoover that, but at least it's not got down the cracks in the side. Right, one down, three to go. Feeling confident? That's good. Well done. It's pulsing it is the way to go. That's good, you know. Hello. Hello. We have a hole. Yeah. <laughs> We're just gonna alcohol wipe the black bits and also the outside of the van. Window. It only took us like five hours. <laughs> Look, you can see outside. <laughs> oh my god, it's so weird. It There's so, so much cute. light. Wow, though. Well done. That was the small one. That was the easy one. <laughs> I'm glad we did that one first. <laughs> it's Thursday. It's one o'clock. I just woke up. But it's time for window number two. <sighs> got this. We got this. Yesterday, we put all the battens down, as you can see. Um, they still have weights on. Um, but they should be stuck down now. But it's very exciting. The floor is coming together. I'm tired. So window number two is going in our big sliding door. Ready? She's a beauty. There's one big window. <laughs> so tinted compared to the other one. <laughs> so I don't know if I ma mentioned this, but this window came in green and this one came in privacy tint. So we bought a separate privacy film to put over this one. So now I'm just sound deadening. This is butyl tape I got off of Amazon because it's cheaper than buying like real sound deadening stuff. But basically we stick it on here and you'll hear the difference. This is what it sounds like before. So I've pretty much done the whole of this side, so let's do a little noise <laughs> comparison. Probably quite hard to hear on the camera. Yeah, you're probably not going to be able to hear a difference, but... I can hear a difference. <laughs> and that's all that matters. So let's get this sound deadening done. Because we still have like three more things left to do today, and then we're going to have a nice little roast. Let's go it's already then. six o'clock. Right, <laughs> let's do it. Friday afternoon snack. Cheers, Mum, for the money. He's completely sound deadened. I don't know if you can hear, but the acoustics sound 
a little bit different to what they did before. Still kind of echoey, but it's a lot better than what it was and we're on a budget, so we couldn't afford real sound editing stuff, so don't come for me. <laughs> Next, I am putting a privacy screen on this window. No one can see in, but like you literally can't see in at all. Hey guys, so we hope you enjoyed this video. It's been our first week with Will. I don't know how it's only been one week. We now need to go back to South End for the weekend and pick up some insulation from my friend. I don't know if the rest of the videos are gonna be like this with weekly installments or if we're gonna do like separate videos for specific things like electrics and stuff so that they're actually useful for people. I'm not sure, but I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like and subscribe and turn on the post notifications. Okay, we'll see you soon. Bye, Anne. You just shit you. Yes, you do. <laughs> I need a haircut. When a salon's opening, oh my gosh. Yeah.